Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. So for those who haven't met me before, my name's Marie and my freelance business is called Scraggy Moo and today I am just going to show you how you can make paper birds which is part of the Mayfest exhibition which Spiral Arts are going to be putting on in the Arboretum Park in Derby. To begin with, I just get a white piece of paper and you can see by the shape of the body, I'm just using a pencil to begin with and then I might go over it with a black pen so you can see it better. But I'm just doing a curved line for the tail, a little hill for the back and then a little round face and if you feel like you've gone too far across the paper remember it's just a sketch so you can change it as you go along i often find i draw too far across to squeeze in a beak for example and just popping in a beak and then it's got a little round tummy and then draw the tip of the tail to suggest the feathers and the wings together so you can see it a little bit better than I have done with the pencil. We do a nice curve line for its tail and its back. A round face, a round tummy that curves along to make the tip of the tail and then you can add the beak on so the next thing to do is to cut out that body shape and rather than you hear me snipping away I've cut one out ready so that's the shape of the bird now if you're going to make lots of birds like I have you might want to recycle a cereal box so you've got a cardboard template which makes it nice and sturdy to draw around on paper so depends what you have at home how you'd like to do things I use my paper template to make this cardboard cut out I then chose some paper so I drew around the bird on the paper to get the outline so you can see I've just got a sharpie and drawn around the edge of the bird. Then what I'll do is cut this out. Here I've just cut out the bird and the paper. Now I've got some coloured paper that has a pattern on both sides. To make the slot I don't tend to measure it. I just bend the card and make a little rectangle shape like a little slot and then I pull it off so you can see I've just cut along one two lines turned it around to snip to make the slot and then when I open it up it's all ready for the wing now for the wings, I use half a piece of A4 paper and I make a fan. So I'm going to fold it backwards and forwards to make the wings for the bird. So what you can do, again I don't tend to measure it but it's up to you if you want to. I fold it on one side. So it looks like it's about one centimetres. I turn it over and then I fold it again the same size as the one before. So I'm going to keep switching the paper around. So once I've done this side, I turn it around to the flat piece and then make another paper fold. And I keep doing this until I reach the bottom. 
Now you can see, once I've folded it backwards and forwards, it's got a nice stretch on there. So I'm just going to post it through here. So through the slot, I'm going to post it through. And when it's about halfway, what I do is I just close the wings back in. So just fold them back into themselves. If it doesn't quite feel like it's half, I just readjust it a bit and then open them up so you've got like half a sunshine. And now on the back, again, it's up to you what you have at home. You might choose to glue along there. So I'll show you where to glue it just in case you have got a glue stick. We might be using staplers. So you can glue along the edge or both of them and then stick them together. And if you want to make sure that they don't pop open, you can just put some sellotape on the back between the two edges that meet. And there you have it, your little bird. And then if you have got string, you might not have string at home, but you might have some string. We can put that on your bird. So again, just with some sellotape. So I've just put the string in the fold and put some sellotape along the edge to hang it up. And it's all ready to go by my window. And if you do have paper that is coloured or has patterns on both sides, then it's really nice to look at when it spins around. I hope you've enjoyed this workshop today. So I hope you have fun making your paper birds and I would love to see them. Take care everybody. Bye bye.